so my uh, AR-15 pistol lower with the uh, Strike Industries red line is pretty much complete. It's one part shy of being done, of course, other than... I'm not sure if I... I mean, um, this is actually a KAK Shockwave blade uh, buffer tube here. Um, I had to uh, get a different one because the one that came on this and then the uh, extra one that uh, Palmetto State Armory sent me for free... They do not take a castle nut. They just kind of screw in place. So I had to find a pistol buffer tube that took a castle nut. And this is the cheapest one I could find. I picked this one up for $18 off of uh, AR15discounts.com. Um, that's my second order from them. Um, very happy with them. Very fast shipping. Uh, they always give you a discount code. It may just be 5-7% off, but that's better than nothing. I have also gotten 15% off from them, but uh, I went with the shockwave blade tube here. Of course, my saw brace will fit slide on this perfect, no problem, but I think eventually I'm going to uh, go with the uh, SB Tactical SBA3, the retractable retractable brace. It's the, it's, uh, in my opinion, uh, th that and the saw brace that I have uh, is pretty much like the best braces um, that I have seen. But I do like the uh, Shockwave blade as well, so I think I want to pick up the Shockwave blade too, because they're just like 40 bucks, and just have that. Um, everybody really seems to like the blade. Um, also, uh, you can kind of see here, the only thing I haven't put on here is the uh, enhanced, uh, the uh, Strike Industries enhanced bolt catch, which is right here. Um, I have I've put them on in the past, like on the last build that I've done. I actually ended up scratching my receiver a little bit and I'm sure you know there's just limited space to put that pin in right there they're just they're really easy to do but just to avoid me scratching my receiver I'm gonna let my friend do it like he has like the proper stuff and you know he's put in a bunch of them so I'm gonna let him do that for me I mean even Palmetto State Armory they left a little scratch right there when they put this one in so if Palmetto State Armory is going to leave a scratch, I know I'm going to leave a scratch. So I'm just going to let him do that. Um, but everything else I'm doing myself, like on the upper and everything on here, I've done myself. As you see here, I do have their uh, ultralight takedown pins, which are really nice. These are a lot lighter than the uh, like mil spec ones that were on here. Um, you know, pretty simple and easy to do. I do have their uh, enhanced... Uh, match grade magazine catch here it sticks out a little bit further than your average which is not bad at all kind of see the end there i just wish this was red to kind of match it a little bit better i do have their fang uh billet aluminum trigger guard here um they do have a cobra one which has like little things sticking out on the sides for like a finger rest but that just seems like a little bit bulky to me so i decided to go with the fang it does have like a little supposed to be like a magazine follower here to kind of assist you in inserting a magazine but uh, I mean I do like the look of it it is really lightweight um, as you see here I do have the uh, strike switch everybody seems to love the strike switch I mean however I just don't get it I mean you can see it comes with the two two of these and then it comes with a blank piece but uh, there's not no more aluminum in this than there is their charging handle well, their charging handle's $32, but on average, they want $60 for this strike switch. I believe I paid like $58 for it. But I had like 5% off, so I probably paid like $57 for it, or like $56.50 or something. But, um, I mean, it works good. It's real easy and simple to install. You can see safe is on. Um, fire works. Um, I do like it how you can do everything with that one hand right there. Real simple and easy. I went with a blank on this side. I don't really care for the ambidextrous safety. Um, but, uh, you know, everybody loves that strike switch. And I do have their extended end plate here and their castle nut. The castle nut's like a real a unique look. Um, this uh, end plate, though, is pretty nice. It's got a QD sling mount here. I mean, you can see it doesn't get in the way of anything. I mean, it also has this little uh, spot here, so you can actually put this on and then put your spring and stuff in there for your uh, takedown pin afterwards, which is, I think, is really nice. 
So that way if you ever wanted to just change out your uh, takedown pins, it's real simple and easy to do right there. Pretty nice. These average for about 50 bucks or so. I think I paid like 54 or so. If you've seen my unboxing videos, then you've probably seen the receipt for that thing or something. But, um, you know, that's kind of it. I, I did know... Um, I did see uh, uh, Strike Industries, you know, they have a YouTube page on here, and they had a build they done with the red line, but they actually had the uh, red end plate here that had a chrome castle nut, just like this, but it was like chrome looking, and then they also had a charging handle that was just like this, it had some like red on the end like here, but then it had like a chrome piece going around it, and it had like uh, deeper indents than that on it. And that looked awesome, but I cannot find their chrome, the uh, castle nut, or the like chrome looking charging handle at all. I don't know if they maybe just made that special for that build they were doing to show off or what. But if I could have found it, I would have bought them. Because if it could have had that little chrome, then had the chrome coming on the end of this, then I probably would have ended up going with their chrome forward assist as well. I think that would have popped with the red, black, and the chrome look. I think that would have looked really nice, but I just can't find that um you see here i do have the uh, strike industries pistol grip here enhanced pistol grip here it has like a, a rubber thing in instead of like a clip like magpuls but um i mean this really does remind me of a magpul grip it's just like i think a little bit thicker right here but i like it fits good in the hand it's got the like little beaver tail coming up and it locks nice on there and there's no gap or anything um this pistol grip actually has like these little uh screw holes here on both sides and what that's for is you can actually put like a little like i guess it's like a little plastic piece there it's supposed to give you like the perfect placement for your finger on the trigger you can kind of see how it would work it would just keep your hand out like that to avoid you from doing that um but i'm not going to use that but that's pretty neat though that they have that um and that's uh i did uh use the uh the uh, replacement car carbine spring that uh, Palmetto State Armory sent me because you know that one was rusting and I'm still am using the uh, same buffer weight I just no need to use that new one they sent me yet um, <clears throat> like I said I'm I'm probably just going to use the uh, saw brace on the end well actually I think I'm going to use the uh, shockwave blade on here for a little bit I think I'll put that saw brace. I'll try to sell it on eBay for like $110 or so. Um, and then I'm going to buy the uh, SB Tactical SBA3 retractable brace, which is the one I want for this build. I'll just have to replace this uh, buffer tube. But um, yeah, but I'll probably just use the shot. Uh, well, I'll probably just use that saw brace on here for a little while and, may, and probably sw switch it out between that and the, the blade. But, um, you know, here you can see I, I put this little sticker on here. Um, just kind of wanted to see if I liked it. Uh, my local gun shop here is kind of kind of new to the area. Um, he's a great guy. He is a good gunsmith. They do lots of, like, Cerakote work. They do stippling. And he says, like, uh, like I was looking for the uh, Terran Tactical, the uh, PMAG base plate, you know, that adds plus five. But it comes in this anodized red. Well, the cheapest I could find that online was for like $40 with $7 shipping. Um, I, I just, you know, he does a Facebook Live, like mail call every day. So I just messaged him on there. I said, hey, I can find it for $40 or with $7 shipping. Could you find it any cheaper? And uh, he actually messaged me back on Facebook about an hour later. He said, how's 35 even work for you? So I went in ahead. I went in there and paid him for it just so he knows I'm coming to get it. Because that's one thing he does. He doesn't, like, he's a little smaller shop, but if there's parts or something that you're wanting, most of the time he tells you, you know, come to me. I can find it cheaper for you by at least a couple dollars. And uh, he showed me on the computer. He's not making anything from it. Um, so he, he was able to get that Terran Tactical Plus 5 base plate for me in this red. Um, he could have got the brown L's one for like 20, I think that one was 25, but uh, I didn't want the brown L's across it, you know. Um, he also did order the uh, Strike Industries 10-inch uh, Strike Rail for me, which is what I'm going to use on this upper. 
Um, cheapest I could find that was like, I, I believe like $143 online shipped. Um, he was able to get it for me for $135, which is a little bit cheaper. He just said that he is not a uh, Strike Industries dealer, and um, his uh, distributors are not either, so he can't really get great prices on Strike Industries parts. Otherwise, if he was, he probably could have saved me a little bit more money getting the parts through him. But, um, you know, it's really nice. Like I said, uh, this right here, I just use crayon on this just mainly to see how it's going to look and everything to see if I want it done permanent. And I do kind of like it. And uh, his gunsmith there said he can do the like enamel paint. Um, he said the red that he can that he has will pretty much very come very close to this. And he said he'll do that for ten bucks for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and let him do that. Um, you know the crayon's not permanent. So I mean if you don't don't know if you're gonna like it or keep it, crayon's perfect for that. And it's easy to get out of there. So I'm going to let him color that in for me for 10 bucks. Um, I also did, the only thing I didn't replace on this is the trigger and the hammer. I did put in some enhanced uh, 3.5 pound springs in here. They were like $12 at my local gun shop. Uh, the guy said it makes a little bit of a difference. But he said it is better quality springs than the standard like mil spec trigger like this is. So uh, last night I went ahead and put those springs in. Um, like I said, I haven't shot this or anything yet, but uh, I'm sure there's not much of a difference. I probably won't even be able to notice the difference, but those springs are supposed to be a lot better quality. So, and that's another thing. Like I know this red line is just for looks, but other I know they're red for looks, but the parts themselves, I have no doubt that this trigger guard is better quality than the mil spec one that was on it. The same thing with the magazine catch. I have no doubt this is very good quality. It's in the takedown pins or aluminum. They're not like, I believe, like the standard mil spec ones are steel because they were very, they were double the weight of both of these. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure these are great quality as well and they're going to hold up over time. Same thing with this castle nut and end plate. I mean, yes, the red line is for looks, but the parts themselves are very good quality. I'm sure, lot, you know, if lots of you are familiar with Strike Industries. You know, I'm guessing you would know that. Um, like I said, I should be getting the uh, strike rail and the uh, Terran Tactical mag plate. That should be here Wednesday. He said they would probably come in at the same time. So if I can get them Wednesday, then hopefully maybe Thursday or Friday night, I can get the upper finished. You know, with that 10-inch strike rail on the end covering up half the, uh, the barking spider, only like that much of the barking spider will be showing. I think it's going to look really nice. I also do have a... A couple people were telling me I should have got like the aluminum red pistol grip, but uh, I don't know. I just kind of don't like the feel of them. Like they're hard and stuff to me, so I like this one. A couple people were telling me I should have got the red strike rail, but I think that's just too much. Some people were saying I should have got a red buffer tube, but I don't know. I think I got the 10 inch strike rail in black, but I do have some Picatinny rails to uh, M lock attachments to go on it that are uh, this color, the anodized red. So that should help pop it off a little bit. But somebody, one of my buddies was saying I should have got the red rail and I could have put uh, black uh, Picatinny rails on each side and then used the uh, Strike Industries or Magpul, the uh, black, uh, you know, trigger, the trigger or hand guard covers that just clip into place. He said I could have put those black ones all over it with the Picatinny rail. Then not, you know, it would have been black and red together, but I don't know. I'm sure I'm going to be happy the way it is, uh, but uh, you know what, uh, you know, please comment and let me know what you guys think. Is there something you would have done different or something I should do different? Uh, you know, just let me know if you like it or not. Um, you know, these Strike Industries parts are not necessarily the cheapest by no means, but uh, I did buy a bunch of stuff that I've sold on eBay, which is where the majority of the money came from. Like I said, you know, I had $60 in those two pair of Adidas off Academy.com. And then I sold both of those for 100 a piece. You know, I got those Fila's for $20 shipped to me from Academy. And I sold those for $70 with $5 shipping. Um, and those uh, Adidas were each $100 with $10 shipping. So, you know, everybody pays for their shipping. I did have to pay a little bit more on the shipping for those Fila's. But 
not a big deal. I also sold that uh, pistol buffer tube Palmetto State Armory sent me. I sold that for $25 on eBay with like $3 shipping. So that was pretty much like a trade for this one. Um, you know, like I probably, I have under $200 in everything. I know that. But uh, when I do a, a video sometime near the end of this week and I show you the complete pistol, I'll do a breakdown of the parts, how much they cost, and what I actually have in it and everything like that. Just kind of give you guys an idea of what you're looking at on price-wise if you want to go with the red line look. You know, I have lots of like black ARs and maybe some with a little bit of FDE, but I wanted the pistol to have the red and black look. I really like it. kind of pops, and these parts are very good quality. So, you know, uh, you know, just please comment. Let me know what you guys think. You know, check out some of my other videos. And uh, please subscribe and hit that like button.